Alrighto, Captain Ferris here, and today we're going to play some Stunt Kite Party. A game, I presume, about flying kites. Let's jump in, shall we? What do we got? So it looks like we've got a bunch of happy looking people all outside with their kites. Uh, looks like the only thing we can access is story mode, so let's go in here, shall we? And that's a horrifying looking figure. Jesus, look at him. It's not on his head. Oh, it's a band-aid. Alright, story mode, let's go. What do we got? Ooh, some very nice clouds. Nice scenery, looks like a party. ADF takeoff. This must be the place. Too bad my ride couldn't take me all the way down to Santa Breeze. Oh, I get it, takeoff as in, you know, kite takeoff. Oh, I get it. Very clever. Got some cows, bulls, chicken. Right, oh. After a whole week of non-stop hitchhiking, I could kill for some proper food, and more importantly, a large open space to give my new Delta Kite a spin. Farmer Airhead, who in the name of Old MacDonald are you? If you're here for the party, you're three hours late. As you can see, your friends have already left, except for the band, they just won't stop playing. I don't know what their problem is. Fair enough, Farmer Airhead. Okay, not Airhead. Fair enough, alright. What party? I'm just passing through on my way to Santa Breeze. The name's Eddie Takeoff. My ride said that maybe you let me crash here for a night. All right. Come on. Oh, is that so? What else did she tell you? Nothing. Just that it would be okay if I spent the night here. I'm a kite flyer. I'm not going to rob you or anything. Weird thing to say. Darn you, Bobby Joe, my vengeful ex-girlfriend. She keeps bringing random strangers over to my farm to take revenge on me. What? Right. She still hasn't forgiven me for beating her all those years ago at the National Kite Flying Championship. Okay. We wanted that trophy so badly, but only one could have it. To this very day, she insists that I cheated during the final match. But I swear I did not. She's just a sure loser, that's all. This is some pretty intense background. Used to be a kite flyer too. You can't be serious. I mean, you're so... Watch your mouth, kiddo. I could still beat you any day of the week. In fact, here's a deal. You went against me at a kite battle fair and square, I'll let you crash here. I might even take you to Santa Breeze tomorrow. Have to deliver some eggs here anyway. Wow, thanks, old man. I still have lots of leftover bloom from the pile. Let's see if you can pop more than me. What is going on here? Or rather, let's see if a novice like you knows how to boost it all. Novice, heh, <laughs> get ready to lose, do you? What? What is this story? I knew nothing about this game, I just thought it was going to be, you know, you fly some kites or whatever. And the story, I guess, you know, get good at flying kites. But this is some weird background stuff. Like, so this farmer, his ex-girlfriend, he just keeps sending random people to his house. Like, she picks up hitchhikers and just drops them off at his farm. And she tells them, you know, don't worry, this guy will let you crash. How many, how often is this happening? This is very, very strange. Yeah. Alright, so I just move about. Sort of feels like a kite, I guess. And then boost. I don't know a lot of kites that can boost, but I'm not really an avid kite flyer, so maybe that's just an advanced technique. Takes a few years to learn. And power-ups. Alright, fair enough. A lot of chickens around. And, yeah. Let's see what the actual game is like. <laughs> right, here we go. Actual game plan time. Eddie looking smug as ever. And Farmer Air Hard, I think it was, looking confident. So, we fly about. And we pop balloons with boost. And we try to avoid uh, balloons with the skull on them. Alright. A bit of power up. And I'm not really sure what it did. But I've crashed. And I'm back up. Alright, this is... Yeah. Alright. Let's, let's fast forward a bit, shall we? Alright. So I'm winning. And the trick is to get lots of balloons in one boost. And I've won. There we go. Utter champion. Look at that. Drops the handles. Throws out a dab. The farmer is disgraced. 
how we do it. Son of a biscuit. Not bad, you know. Not bad at all. <laughs> That's for calling me a novice old man. Very rude. I was just messing with you. The name's Earhart, by the way. Abram Earhart, six-time national kite flight champion. Oops, I missed that. Uh, now I see. Oh, I missed that as well. Oh, God. Speaking of things going well, now that I've won the match, are you going to keep your promise and... <gasps> oh, no. Oh, shoot. She's back. What is it now? Eddie's looking disgusted. Confused. Brandy's back. Another angry ex of yours? Ooh, good burn. Don't be silly. I'm talking about Brandy the Bumblebee. Never should start feeding. Now she keeps coming back for my honey. I'm also a beekeeper, by the way. Come on, man. You've had your fun. Just let me... Oh, sweet cheese and crackers. What the flipping heck is that thing? What is with this? What... What? I was just flying, wanted to fly kites. Brandy, look, it's a giant bumble, but she won't feed her honey. What? What? It's the only way to make her go away. Just use your kite. You can do it probably. Another match. Awesome. Get ready. What? Yeah, whatever you say, kiddo. What is happening in this game? Bumblebee banquet. What? Right, so this part of the kite flying game is about collecting honeycombs and then running into the giant bumblebee who's been harassing this farmer and then she eats the honey and it's just about getting more points than the farmer except I thought we were a team on this so why would it be a competition? Anyway, let's skip ahead. So, I'm utterly destroying the farmer once again. I'm obviously better at his job than he is. And I've won. And we drop the handles and throw out a dab to let him know we mean business. Champion. I think their expression summed thing up. Phew, that was tough. Thanks a bunch for helping me. I think I need some rest now. Do you get visits from giant mutant insects a lot here? And how the heck do you make those honeycombs fly? Please, I really need a breather right now. If you still up for more kite flying, there's another overly enthusiastic kite lover staying at my farm. This game's weird. Maybe she wants to play with you. I'll see you later, kiddo. Who are you talking about? Eddie's very confused. <laughs> that would be me, I guess. Trixie Diavatoni. I'm his niece. I've been watching you fly, Eddie. You're not half bad. Yeah, I'm pretty good. Gonna be a real pro one day. That's all on my way to Santa Breeze, the ultimate kite flying spot. Gotta hone my skills a little more before I enter the first real tournament. Really? Well, as my uncle said, I'm also a kite flyer. I'm here to train. Wanna try and beat me at the balloon game? So, we're just gonna play the balloon game. And I win. That's how I do it. Champion. Throw a dab. She hides her face in disgust. Unstoppable. Oh fudge, I almost had you. But then I got blinded by the sunlight. You never should fly your kite during a sunset? Yeah, yeah right. Eddie's not buying that at all. <laughs> I'll beat you next time. Man. I'm getting late, kids. What was that walk animation? Before what? Look at him. He's just hopping. Oh, dang, name it. We're too late. Here they come. More bumblebees? Stop it with your silly nonsense. Talking about the ghosts, of course. Can't be serious, man. I am being serious. This farm has been haunted for decades. I'll explain later. Photonometers to our guys. How much people have you killed, Farmer Earhart? Have you just been killing all the people that your ex-girlfriend drops off? Shocking. Ghost hunt. To take the ghosts and shine your light until they explode. This is not what I thought this game was going to be at all. I mean, there is kite flying, so that's something at least. Let's skip ahead, shall we? And I am getting destroyed by the farmer. Oh, I think he's gonna beat me. And he's beating me. That wasn't good. Hey, let's try it again. And I'm losing again. Again to the farmer. And he's beating me again. Ooh, we can skip it. Alright, we're skipping. Job well done, everyone. Well done. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. So what the heck was that all about? This area has been a kite flying hotspot for centuries. My guess is that all these ghosts are the souls of former kite flyers who are simply here to battle, or maybe they want to watch us. This... This game has jumped the shark. Or... Jumped the... Kite? This game has flewed the kite. Ghosts tend to slime the animals and tractor with the ectoplasm to get rid of them. Is that hissing noise you get? Is that missiles? I was expecting the bumblebee and ghosts, but 
Homing missiles. We have to distract their senses. <laughs> One last game. You're gonna die. I'm gonna get what? What? This farmer must have been up to some really shady stuff. Like jeepers creepers. Honestly. Alright, so what do we do in this one? Just dodge the missile. If I just stay on the ground, will they ignore me? No. No, they won't. And I'm almost dead. Alright. Careful. And if we're a team, why, why am I trying to get them to die but not me? Oh, well, I've lost. Try that again. And I've won. There we go. Champion. That's how we do it. Dab on those fools. That's what I'm about. Jeez, what was all that about? Sick kite flying, by the way, Eddie. Got a tiny bit nervous halfway, but you really kept it cool. Thanks, dude. You're really not bad yourself. That was no game, you two. There's a missile in the background. There's a few of them. Everyone's holding a serious grudge against you. Yeah, that's right. Bobby Joe would never do something like that. Well, maybe she would. What the hell, dude? Why'd they go to this one? This rocket clear has the word Windbag Industries on it. Isn't that... You gosh darn right it is. Guys, what are we talking about? Man, windbag. Sarah Vantabreeze. I already know he doesn't like me very much, but missiles. This is going too far. So the mayor is attacking you with missiles. Shouldn't we call the police or something? That wind guy, bad guy, practically... Man, this game is... Like... Bumblebees, sure. Ghosts, alright. But missile attacks, this is just... I don't even know, man. I don't even know. 